Hi guys, this is Bhagesh. Today I am going to talk on embedded system. Number of people confused on embedded C and MC on the simple C. What is the difference between that? Today I am going to teach you uh, embedded system. Okay. Looking around, we found ourselves to be surrounded by various type of embedded system. Be it a digital camera or mobile phone or washing machine, all of them has a some kind of processor functioning inside it. In simple word, embedded system is a combination of hardware and software. Software is like embedded C, which is called uh, soul of that hardware, soul of that system, and etc. What do you say? Associated with each processor is an embedded software. If hardware forms the body of embedded system, embedded processor act as a brain and embedded software form its soul. It is embedded software which primarily governs the functioning of embedded system. Rather than I am going to show you one picture. Okay, just first let us try to understand. The difference between regular C and embedded C. There is nothing called embedded C. Embedded embedded C is at I think that doesn't exist. Okay, there is only one C language. If you use C on computer, then it is called regular C. If you use C on electronics, then it is called embedded C. On both the cases, compiled C program is executed by microprocessor only. The main difference between C on computers and C on electronics is the input or output. Like uh, you know that scanf which is we are using for the input from user like same concept in microprocessor which is read pin as an input, printf as a write pin as an output. But in C programming language by KR book in chapter 7. This is a very good book written by Dennis Ritchie who found C language. You have to must read this because if you want to learn C then this is good for, for you. I also refer you some websites and some books in my next lecture. So be tuning with me. Subscribe my channel. Okay. Input and output. Okay. Dennis Ritchie had mentioned that input and output are not part of C language. Guys, please focus on this sentence. Dennis Ritchie, who is a founder of C language, who discovered the C language, Dennis Ritchie had mentioned that input and output are not part of C language. If you remove input output, then there is no difference between C and embedded C. Okay guys, this is an interesting sentence. I found that on internet. I studied it. I am also confused in this embedded C and C. It's a little bit confusing for me. I cleared that and give you one audio for your confusion. Because uh, some days ago I get the interviews and number of people confused on this question. Okay. Okay, forget that. This is not my topic. This is the reason the embedded industry requires a good C programming professionals, which is I am. <laughs> In C, programmers usually write function to reuse codes. Also, function makes the writing program easy. That is a reason lots of library functions are there in C. But when the function is called, the CPU stop current activity and execute the function. The CPU can do only one task at a time. To improve the performance of the functions are of loaded to separate hardware unit called controllers. In this case, the CPU and the controller can perform the task in parallel. In functions, the parameter as a pass through stack. In controllers, the parameters as pass through registers. Guys, this is also very important. Please try to understand. In functions, the parameters are passed through the stack. In controllers, the parameters are passed through the register. Means if you are running the code on PC for the software purpose, not for a controller or electronics, which is passed through a stack, and in controller, the parameters are passed through a register. Okay, guys, wait for a minute.
बिफोर सी लैंग्वेज नंबर ऑफ पीपल यूजिंग असेंबली लैंग्वेज फॉर राइटिंग द कोड फॉर कंट्रोलर्स इट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट लैंग्वेज यू नो दिस इज आई थिंक कॉल्ड बाय मशीन लैंग्वेज या मशीन लैंग्वेज एज असेंबली लैंग्वेज प्रोग्राम्स आर स्पेसिफिक टू अ प्रोसेसर असेंबली लैंग्वेज डिडन ऑफर पोर्टेबिलिटी अक्रॉस सिस्टम to overcome this disadvantage several high level languages including c came up some other languages like plm model modula 2 pascal etc also came but couldn't find wide acceptance among these c got a wide acceptance for not only embedded system but also for desktop application yeah guys c language is a very good very popular and very flexible language which is i am using amongst those c got a wide acceptance for not only embedded system but also for, for desktop application even though c might have lost or lost its sheen as a mainstream language for general purpose application it still is having a strong hold in embedded programming due to the wide acceptance of c in the embedded system various kinds of support tools like compilers cross compiler ic tree etc come up and all this facilitated development of embedded system using c okay i have one topic embedded system programming is a different from developing application on a desktop computers guys try to understand embedded c is only for electronics only for electronic controllers and c language for desktop applications mobile application etc etc uh, i think you know guys unix operating system is developed by c this is his uh, fully based on c language a key characteristic of an embedded system when compared to pcs are as embedded devices have a resource constraints limited rom limited ram limited stack space less processor power which is the constraints of embedded device component used in the embedded system and pcs are different embedded system typically uses smaller less power consumption component and embedded system are more tight to the hardware okay guys i'm going to next topic which is Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I want to read this. Two silent features of embedded programming are good speed and code size. Yeah, really, guys, code size also matter. Code speed is governed by the processing power, timing constraint, whereas code size is governed by available program memory and use of programming language. goal of embedded system programming is to get maximum feature in minimum space and minimum time embedded system are program using different types of language yeah guys i have i had told you starting on lecture machine code we are use low level language that is assembly language high level language like c c++ java ada etc application level language like visual basic script excel and number of others yeah guys uh guys oh, c why c is a, a very means perfect for embedded system there that is i am going to tell you talk talk with you sorry not only totally. my english is not very well please ignore this words it is a small and reasonably simpler to learn understand program and debug c compilers are available for almost all embedded devices in use today and there is a large pool of experience in c programmers like assembly c has a advantage of processor independence and is not specific to any particular microprocessor or microcontroller or any system this makes it convenient for a user to develop programs that can run on most of the systems as c combines functionality of assembly language and feature of high level languages
she is treated as a middle level computer language or high level assembly language it is fairly efficient it support access to input output and provide is of management of large embedded project many of these advantages are offered by other languages also but what sets c apart from others like pascal fortran etc is that fact that it is a middle level language it provides a direct hardware control without sacrificing benefits of high level language here yeah, guys you can access directly hardware using this middle level languages number of uh, i think c is a middle level language i'm not sure about this yeah is middle level compared to other high level languages c offers more flexibility because c is a relatively small structure language it supports low level bitwise data manipulation number of people using object oriented languages like c++ but c++ is not apt for developing efficient program in research constraint environment blah blah like embedded system there is critical to say okay do say c and embedded c appears different and are used in different contexts they have more similarities than the difference differences most of the constructs are same difference lies in their application c is used for desktop computer while embedded c used for microcontroller based applications accordingly c has a luxury to use resource of desktop pc like memory os etc while programming on desktop system we need we need not bother about memory however embedded c has to use with limited resource limited ram limited rom limited input outputs on an embedded processor the program code must fit into the available program memory if code exceeds the limit the system is like to crash <laughs> compilers for c guys today we are using ansi standard for c please fit this concept in your mind we are using c as a means ansi ansi c standard we are using in c compiler for c means ansi c typically generate os dependent executables embedded c requires compiler to create files to be downloaded to microcontroller microprocessor where it needs to run yeah guys embedded c code we need to convert in hex file binary file to download in microcontrollers because microcontroller can only understand binary language so that's why we need embedded c compilers embedded compilers give access to all resource which is not provided in compilers for desktop computer application embedded system often have the real time constraint which is usually not there with desktop computer applications embedded system often do not have a console which is available in case of desktop application <sighs> so basically is a different while program with embedded c is the mindset for embedded application we need to optimally use resource make program code efficient and satisfy real time constraints if any all this is done using the basic constructs syntaxes and function libraries of c guys i told you shortly what i want to say c and embedded c appears different and are used in different contexts they have more similarities than differences most of the constructs are same difference lies in their applications c is used for desktop computers while embedded c is used for microcontrollers based application accordingly c has the luxury to use resource of desktop pc like memory os etc while programming on desktop system we need not bother about memory however embedded c u has to use with the limited resource ram rom input outputs on an embedded processor thus program code must fit into the available program memory if code exceeds the limit the system is like to crash guys 
there is no syntax difference between C and embedded C. But embedded C has its own terms which differentiate it from C. If you mm, okay. embedded c embedded c means embedded c into the hardware which is which is uh, shortly i'm using through easy language embedded c which is uh, using for uh, with for controllers who can able to communicate with sensors or pe electronic peripherals okay guys this is embedded c and c is we, we can use on desktop for desktop applications this is desktop C and there is a one simple difference is there is a different compiler for embedded C and C that said if you like my audio first lecture then please like and subscribe my channel